Okay guys, in this tutorial we will demonstrate how to create manage instance using command line tool which is gcloud. This tool is provided by the Google. It comes by default with the Google, Google Cloud SDK. There is a separate video tutorial which demonstrate how to install and activate your Google Cloud SDK. The link for the uh, tutorial is given inside the description. Okay, let's start with gcloud command. Just type hyphen h for the options. It will uh, tell you how many options are available. So firstly, we have to identify what we want. What kind of machine you want to create, which kind of operating system you want, and on which location or which geographical area you want to create that particular machine okay let's start firstly we have to identify how many regions are available to identify that just hit the command google cloud compute region list it will list all the regions which are available inside the google cloud platform So if you guys want to work only on one particular region or where you have a certain requirement where you only have to work inside a one particular region which could be US or Asia or, or Europe region. So using that Google config set compute region command you can set that region as a by default region whatever you are going to create update, start or delete, that action will be performed inside that particular region. Using the unset option, you can reset the configuration to a default setting state. Okay, now we have to identify the operating system which we want to use. Basically here there are two uh, parameters which we have to identify. First one, first one is the image hyphen family. And the second one is image hyphen project family could be your CentOS or Debian or Ubuntu family and according to them only their uh, image project has been decided okay uh, let's hit the gcloud compute image list command it will give you the list of all the images of, of operating systems available on a google cloud with their name respective projects and their respective families. Here we have to identify two things which one was uh, family and the projects. So image hyphen family and image hyphen project can be identified using gcloud compute image list command. Okay the next step is to identify the instance type. Using gcloud compute machine type list command, we can identify how many types of instances are available, which will tell you how many CPUs they have and what exactly the RAM size. Okay, there are two options here. First one, you can choose from the predefined instance types, or you can customize your instance according to your need. Okay, let's hit the gcloud compute machine list command. This command will give you a huge list of operating system according to their zone and the size of the memory and how many CPUs they have. You can choose according to your need with the name and the zone. Okay, the next is we have to set the descriptions for the machine. Here we have just set the testing of a command line. You can set the description of the machine according to your environment or your need. Okay, there are many other options are also available. Some is like no start on failure. Uh, by default is on if you want to set it off. You can set it uh, using no, no restart on failure. The other option like metadata where you can set your SSS key to which you can use for the login purpose. Okay, let's create the machine. So the final command which will be used to create the machine will be gcloud compute instance create where we are creating instance. The instance name will be secops. 
and we have set the option for the zone. Zone will be US Central 1C. The image family will be uh, sent to a 6. The image project that we have identified using the list, uh, which will be sent to this cloud. The machine type we have decided with a minimal uh, configuration that is F1 micro. And we are setting the description for the uh, machine is the testing for the command line. Okay, uh, here is as you can see there are two instances already. Uh, let's hit the command and I will see uh, what is the output of the command. So just go to the console and we will hit the command the same that I have described earlier and we will wait because it will take uh, some time to generate that uh, machine. So this will generate a machine with the name SACOPS in a US Central 1C zone. The machine operating system will be sent to us and the machine uh, type will be the F1 micro. So the output of the command is we have generated a machine with the name SACOPS and type is F1 micro. Okay, the same result will reflect on your web console with the same name, zone, and internal and external library of your particular machine. Okay, the next thing is how to start and stop any instance which is existed on a Google Cloud. So you can start and stop any of the machine by providing the machine name and the zone where exactly the machine is located. So providing the zone is mandatory. Why? Because there could be the instances with the same name in a multi, in a multiple zones. Let's hit the stop command. This command will stop that instance with the name SACOPS, which exists in a US Central 1C zone. So it will take some time. Also, the same output will reflect on your web console. Once the machine is stopped, the same you can verify by visiting your web console and look at the machine, that machine will be in a stopped state. By visiting the web console, just go to the console and hit the refresh button and the same result is reflecting in a web console. Now the machine is in a stopped state. Okay, let's uh, restart the machine. So the same we can do using the command uh, gcloud compute instant start. Here again, we have to identify or we have to define the machine name in the zone. Okay, the machine is updated and the same result will, re will reflect on your web console. Just go to the console and hit the refresh button and now you can see the machine is in a start state. Okay, the next thing is how to delete instance on a Google Cloud. So you can delete instance using command G Cloud Compute Instance Delete with the name and the zone. Okay, let's hit the delete command. We want to delete the SACOPS machine which is in, inside the zone of US Central 1C. So first thing it will confirm you want to delete. Generally it takes time because once you hit the delete command it will first it will release all the resource allocated to that particular instance and then it will delete that particular virtual machine once you get the output of the command in your console the same result will reflect on your web application console the same you can verify by visiting your console here just go and hit the refresh button 